United States. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. What would you like, a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel. God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. Proverbs 28 and 3 through 6, it says, A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. It says, Better is the poor that walketh in uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sisters out there as well. This is Brother Ariyah coming at you with a quick cut. And that was disgusting, man, to see that, man. That was real disgusting, you know? I had to I had to watch it again, you know. I had to watch it a second time after I watched it the first time, man. You know, that was that was real crazy right there, man, but it just shows you you know the mentality, man. And he could be a damn a, a Edomite, man, for all you know, or for all we know. He could be a Edomite, man. That's a Edomite activity right there. You know? But uh let's just say that he is a Jake, man. Jake is just is done, man. You know, Jake is done, and uh, yeah, man, that was uh, that was a real disgusting display right there, man. And he put it on camera for all to see because he thought it was funny, man. You know, but little does he know that, you know, when all hell break loose, the heavenly Father is gonna have him eating his own shit and drinking his own piss, man. Okay, I hope, I, I pray and hope that that happens to him. You know, just for. Uh, doing what he did on camera to that man and it's spiritual because his name was israel too man you know so i hope that the you know whatever is coming to him is the worst it could be for that particular dude right there man you know you don't do that man the apostles always uh taught me and, and other brothers that was around you know the camp down there in new york to always give uh to to the people that pass by and ask for change you know, to always give them, you know, a little bit of money, man. You know, a little dollar, a little, little two dollars. It's not going to hurt anyone, you know, to give them that, you know. And uh, I don't know, man. That, that's, that, that really pissed me off, man. Let me get Proverbs 14. And it says the poor is hated even of his own neighbor, right? And that was a, a perfect display of that right there in that video, man. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. And it says he that despiseth his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor happy is he, man. Okay? You know, for me, uh, you know, whenever I see someone, you know, sitting on the ground, I, you know, I try to make sure no one's looking. You know, and, you know, throw them a little something, man. You know, or, you know, they might want some water or what have you, you know. In the wintertime, maybe even some hand warmers or something, you know. You know, anything uh, helps, man. You know, the Heavenly Father looks on things like that, man. He looks, he, he, he sees them things, you know. And, uh, yeah, that, this dude here is definitely going to get a judgment for what he did, man. You know, it's not really worth uh, too many words I can use for what that dude just displayed, but you know, destruction is coming upon him, man. Let me get Proverbs. Let's get 17, 4 and 5. And it says, A wicked doer giveth, giveth heed to false lips, 
and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. And it says, Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished, man. Okay? So he, he thought it was funny to do that. He saw that man in a, a real horrible state, man. You know? Basically helpless. No money, no nothing. You know, down on his luck. You know, really just, you know, looking for for any type of help, man. You know? Just looking for something. You never know. That could have been an angel too, man. You never know. You know? And this dude goes over there and he, he just mocked him, man. In front of how many people. I don't know who watched it or how many people watched it. But there are a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, seeing what he did, man. You know? I'm just at a loss for words right now, man. I don't even know what to say with that right there man that's not that's just something you don't do man you know that dude obviously has never been uh poor or, or been without to go ahead and do that something do that to someone you know i know i couldn't because i've been there and i was there when i was early so i know how that feels man to have nothing and no place to live no money in my pocket that's not a good feeling man you know, let me get, uh, let's get Proverbs, Sirach. That just shows we at the end, man. You know, the love of many is waxing cold and people are doing things for clout, man. He did that shit for clout, man. He thought that that shit was cool. You know, it says prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And it says wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. And it says, Error and darkness had their beginning together with sinners, and evil shall wax old with them that glory therein. Okay? And he's one that glories uh, in evil, man. And that was a very uh, wicked and evil uh, work that he displayed on that camera, man. You know? To sit there and ask the man what he wanted to eat. And the dude was like, yeah, you know, the man was like, yeah, man, I, you know, please. Thank you, you know? He was happy, like, yo, I'm about to eat, man. That man's, that, that man ribs is touching right now, man. And he going to go there and say, yeah, I want you to see this. He pulls out the, you know, puts the soda on the ground, pulls out the fries, and, and starts eating the burger right in front of him, man. And you've seen, you know, how the Jake, uh, the man's name was Israel, how he reacted, man. He was dejected, man. You know, he felt real, real helpless at that point when the dude started eating the food right in front of him man and the dude saying i want you to enjoy watching me eat this in front of you man you know these wicked jakes out here that, that that's just another display as to why they need to be put down they have no mercy on their own people man you know i could never i, I could never do that to someone man you know i could never do that man that's just something, I'm just, I'm not built like that, man. You know, if any brother ever need help, he know I'm going to be there for him, man. I'm going to do what I can for him. Always, man, you know. And I wouldn't do that to a poor person as far as uh, asking them, you know, if they want this or that. And they say, yeah, and me not come through and bring it to them. You know, I'm always a man of my word, man, you know. And that's how, you know, brothers are, period. But I, I can't understand, but it's just that's just wicked, man. Can't really fathom how someone can do that shit to someone, man. That's just straight up foul, man. But, you know, he's going to meet that same... Uh, he's going to be in that same lot as well, man. As far as him not having anything to eat. And he's going to be downtrodden, man. And he's going to be out here afraid and alone, you know, not knowing uh you know how to survive out here soon come man that man the heavenly father has got a special judgment for that dude man and rightfully so it says in the day of prosperity there is a forget a forgetfulness of affliction and it says in the day of affliction there is no more remembrance of prosperity man it says for it is an easy thing unto the lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways and it says, the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure, and in his end his deeds 
shall be discovered, man. You know? So, that's uh, self-explanatory there, man. Now, the Heavenly Father definitely, Lord willing, does something to that man. And I got another video, too, which shows because people are, are really starting to hate uh, seeing people hate the poor, I mean, help the poor, uh, Salak here. You know, and this, this other video I got here, which is uh, crazy, you know, where these, uh, these women were, you know, feeding the poor, you know, giving them food and clothes and stuff like that, you know. And uh, this crazy-ass Edomite took it upon himself to just, uh, <laughs> you know, run him over, man, you know, with his car. So I'm going to play that in a minute, man. And uh, hold on. Matter of fact, I'm going to play it right now. And I'm going to uh, get my last script. Matter of fact, let me get my last script and then I'll play it at the end. You know, this is Sirach 18 and 25 through 27. And it says, when thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger. And when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. Right? So this dude has definitely never been, uh, you know, in poverty like that before, man. You know, us, us brothers has been in poverty. We know how it is, man. You know, we know how it feels and it's not a good feeling, you know. So when the Heavenly Father blesses us with things such as money, you know, a roof over our heads, even... Uh, you know, a vehicle or whatever. We, uh, you know, we always think upon those times when we uh, had to go without, man. You know, that's the thing that keeps us, um, that keeps us humble, man. You know, that's just a very humbling thing, man. To always keep that with you, and always, and and to know that that can always uh, happen to you again, man. You, you know, and it says from the from the morning until the evening, the time has changed. And all things are soon done before the Lord. It says a wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will be, he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. Right? And uh this dude doesn't know what time what type of time we're in, man. You know, a famine is on the rise, man. You know, famine is, is definitely coming. You know? Esau is using uh, you know, food as a weapon out here, and he's sitting there eating uh uh, what is that? Wendy's, I believe. Probably Wendy's. You know? He's eating Wendy's. You know, that's not even real food anyway, man. But that that would have been some type of sustenance uh for for that man that uh didn't have anything, you know, even though, you know, no bacon, you know what I'm saying? And definitely no soda. But still, that would have been something for him to put in his stomach, man. And the fact that that dude did that and thought it was funny probably trying to go viral you know because jay could do anything for attention and to go viral and get views and likes at anyone's uh expense you know and uh yeah man you know jake is just uh revolted and gone and the whole head is sick man let me play this video and lord willing this lesson was that a fine shalom it crossed my mind of something that we would have to worry about some sort of violent act happening at one of those events. I did not expect it, but as soon as I heard my brother's voice, I knew something was not right. A Reno, Nevada family is healing, and another is grieving after the loved ones were involved in a random act of violence while volunteering for a nonprofit. My mom and sister were at a feeding event that they do with Food Not Bombs. So the feed happens every Monday night, 5.30s. Rain or shine, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it's a collective group, and so everyone, uh, it's all hands on deck every day, or every Monday, every time. It is my understanding that my mom and sister were helping a woman go through a bag of clothing at the very end of the feed. It was time to pack up, it was time to go. When they were standing there, suddenly a man who is not a regular attendee of these feeds um, drove his car into my mom, my sister, and the houseless woman that they were helping um, go through the bags with. The suspect severely injured 23-year-old Clarissa Roman, her mother Diamond Roman, and Michelle Jardine. My mom was alert the entire time. My mom described and gets very emotional about the scene when she remembers how it all happened. She locked eyes with the driver, saw him coming. When she landed on the ground, she knew something was not right. The women were taken to the hospital. My mom, um, she arrived to the hospital complaining of back pain, and I, 
I think she knew that her back was broken. As far as my sister goes, she arrived to the hospital with a broken ankle, broken ribs, a brain bleed, a collapsed lung, and both of her clavicles are broken. And today they just updated us that there are also a couple of broken bones in her neck. Michelle Jardine, who was experiencing homelessness, went to the event for food. Despite the life-saving efforts of first responders and hospital staff, the 55-year-old passed away. The suspect, 57-year-old David Wayne Turner, was arrested on felony murder and attempted murder charges. He waived his right to an arraignment and will appear in court on May 16th. Police say he told them his actions were intentional. From my understanding,